Let's do yeah. it. What's up? What's up? Skyler, my man. <laughs> Mr. Jarman. Mr. Jar John. Wow. Yeah, I got hey. on this Zoom and I was like, bro, I'm getting fucking old, man. And so <laughs> now, now, now I see you. I'm like, oh, I don't feel so bad. No, you're you know, young. Gonna... <laughs> you're young. <laughs> How's everything in the Philippines? Um, okay, I guess. Uh we have a new president and uh you know, uh, we're basically new... trying to uh recover from the pandemic and you know people are still um i guess you know trying to adjust uh, the new new normal or you know how about there man how's everything it's, you have the beach dude, utah's the been background. fucking it's normal all the time i'm in a republican state i don't know if you mm. know what that is but uh mm. yeah like covid very little were we affected in salt lake city a little bit more you know that's where the liberals play, but uh, <laughs> but Utah. yeah, dude, no, Utah's Utah's been pretty normal through through and through. For me, business speaking, you know, uh, COVID was really kind of the start to us. Uh, you know, I had some of my best years during COVID, and 2023 has been been super good for us. You know, and so it's uh, really it's just where you, I guess, where you play, man. I mean, how about how about the web design stuff? Is that slowed down a little bit because of the... um, at the start of the pandemic, I was I was you know I was doing good, really good, better than. Than, better than before the pandemic but then it started to slow down a bit you know some some agencies decided to uh um hire in-house again and yeah but it's okay i've been a freelancer for um, i guess around five years now uh for those who do not know we worked together before i decided to become a freelancer so <laughs> that was really you know an experience or learning experience remember when we were we were publishing websites left and right, right? Uh, so yeah, yeah. So I, I, man, I did that for for such a long time. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think back because when we start first started doing work together, dude, that was like 2014, I think. Yeah, I think, I think somewhere, yeah. somewhere around there, dude. And uh, yeah. yeah, no, I kept running with that same business model. In fact, really, nothing has changed for me uh to this day you know i mean as as far as uh the approach it's it's still kind of the same thing now i have a couple of different partnerships in a few different industries locksmith air duct cleaning gates and garages uh insulation stuff like this you know it's mm. uh trying to get into roofing a little bit mm. you know when it comes to, to marketing i just got so tired of dealing with clients i'll be honest you know like i you would build these people up and it's like oh dude like you <laughs> you you get dicked you know every yeah. Yeah. make some people some money and and uh yeah so kind of a not a bad taste per se, but I, I took a different approach, you know, starting maybe 2015, 2016. And, and instead of uh, going on the monthly basis with SEO clients and web design and stuff, I, you know, I just kind of said, fuck it. And, and started uh, approaching with, uh, you know, business partners and, and relationships in that manner. And, and so, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it seems to, seems to work out, you know, pretty well with that approach. And uh, so it's, it's funny that you bring it up though, because and again, I'm gonna kind of be all over the place because I haven't smoked in a little while. And 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 just to clarify for everyone, I'm in a legal a legal state. I well, there you go, there you go. <laughs> but uh, so it's gonna be hard for me to kind of stay on topic. But I I figured it would be fun to just yeah. kind of catch up with yeah, you. Just, but... this is you know this is an open forum for us. And at the same time, you know, if if we discuss you know your how you started, for those people who are just who do not know what you do, you know, and where you are from, how you started with this digital marketing uh, business of yours. Um, yeah. Can you share that with us? Uh, you know, go back in time where you were just starting out, you know, how you got into this yeah. line of business. Cause you've been in this industry for like how many years now, like a decade I'm yeah, sure. yeah, I, I hit 10 years in marketing. Yeah, so I'll kind of give it a little bit of a rundown. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so when I first originally got started, you know, I was doing construction uh, with my father and stuff like this. And then I worked like 80 hours a week. That was like a slow week. Uh, mm -hmm. After that, my son's mom had got pregnant, who, by the way, just had a baby. Congratulations. Congratulations to them. <laughs> but uh, yeah. but uh, so so I um, my son's mom and I, we kind of did the you know, I was doing construction and stuff for like the first year of Wyatt's life. And and I just, you know, it wasn't working for me, you know, and I wasn't making money. And I was just I was always raised. It's you know, it's my responsibility as a man to 
to kind of take care of, you know, the family and stuff like this. And so I found myself kind of being dumb, you know, for a little bit, trying to figure out what, uh, what was going to actually be making me money. And, and I found search engine optimization and, and web design. And I remember, um, you know, I, I first, uh, when I decided I was going to do it, I, I had a couple of thousand dollars to my name and, and I started, uh, you know, I, I got onto, I don't know if anybody's familiar with it, but it was called Warrior Forum and uh, mm. Black Hat World. Still, mm. I believe both of them are up. Black Hat World for sure, but uh, I, Warrior Forum is a little different now. But that's where I first started. I put together a, <laughs> a sales page uh, to do local SEO. And I, back then I was charging like $150 a month. And I remember uh, there was times like uh, that was super hard not to give up. I have a couple of stories where, you know, I could go into detail where it was like, man, I'm so stressed out. I'm never going to make it like $10,000 in debt, you know, and, and stuff like that. But uh, looking back on it now, you know, it was one of those things that um, I don't I don't have any regrets, you know, like when you when you see something through and, and to clarify for everyone, I'm a high school dropout. You know, I didn't do a day in high school. Um, I started outsourcing to the Philippines when I was, uh, you know, not just the Philippines, India, Pakistan, uh, a couple different countries. Um, I was like 21 or 20 when I first started to do that. How that got started is I had an Indian company uh, approach me and ask me, you know, because I spoke English that they were getting all these leads from Craigslist. And so I would call people up cold lead and be like, Hey, you know, I'm Skylar. <laughs> I have a mock-up for you. Cause they would, they would do a live mock-up, which John you're familiar with when I, when I first, you know, we started working together, yeah. uh, all of our clients would get a live homepage mock-up. Mm. I took that kind of model from them, but that's kind of how I really got started into sales and stuff is I put myself in a position. I've always been in a sink or swim, you know, kind of guy. And you, there's only two ways to learn how to swim. You either go to school and learn, or you yeah. jump in and you just don't drown. You know? and, so, <laughs> and so that was, that's kind of always been my business model approach, but, but yeah, coming back to the, the, the people who I used to call people cold call off Craigslist, they were warm leads, but I'd call them and this company would allow me to sell my SEO services and I could sell, you know, they would tell me a base price for their website and then I'd take that base price and I'd, I was allowed to sell whatever I wanted as long as I was providing the customer service and stuff. And so I got into that, but uh, it wasn't really great money until I got into the Google Maps verifications. Um, I Man, if I could go back in time, the amount of listings that I would have, not I had thousands back then, but the, the, I would have done things, you know, different, which I think everybody, as you look back on your career, you'd be like, all right, cool. That makes sense. You know, yeah. but um, the, the Google Maps verifications changed the game for me. You know, I remember uh, I, I had a real uh, personal moment. I was going through some things. I broke, like broke, broke, you know, and at the time, me and my son's mom weren't getting along. And so we're getting ready to go to court and the custody battle, which, you know, I, 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 uh, it, I'm from Utah, which, uh, you know, some people have their own opinions, but it's a mother state. So it's, it's, uh, it's challenging for a, a father to, to even get a say on their kids' lives, which is a whole nother topic. You know, we can talk about it another time, but so, you know, here I am, I'm going through all this stuff. And, uh, I remember, you know, I, I don't pray a lot. I'm, I don't, you know, I, I, uh, I believe in God and stuff like this, but I, I don't stick to one religion, you know, mm. I, I'm intrigued Same. by quite a few different religions, you know, I think they have uh, answers to everything. But mm. so here I am, I decide I just have this overwhelming feeling that I'm going to say a prayer, you know, because I'm like, fuck, dude, the power is going to get shut off. How am I even going to work? You're probably familiar with this, you know, the Philippines yeah. understands. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, I, I said this prayer, and I was just so dead tired, I'm, I'm ready to go back to, you know, a regular nine to five. I say this prayer and I go out and this is back when, you know, we used to fucking, instead of streaming, it was like, I, I was torrenting uh, videos and stuff. And so I, I remember I just barely torrented this, uh, this video, I was going to watch it. And I go on my computer to watch this video, you know, and smoke some weed and just be like, fuck, you know, what's my next move. And I had this message on Skype. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to say his name, um, but it was a guy who messaged me on Skype saying, hey, can you do Google Maps verifications? Which, uh, like I said, you know, I, I did, but I didn't know the power of them. Like I was selling mm -hmm. them here and there for like $100, $150. I can do it in like three, four minutes, you know, mm -hmm. of a glitch. And it was a back end verification. So mm -hmm. now looking back on it, I was like way underselling my service. But this guy hits me up, man, and he goes, uh, can you do them? And I was like, yeah, of course, dude, I'll give you one for free. No worries. Like, what do you want? And he says, mm. give me a Dish Network listing. And he picked a city. So it was like three minutes, you know. Mm. You know <laughs> the glitch used to involve calling Google, you know. Oh, and, yeah. And yeah. So I used to call Google and, and do that approach. But so I did that. 
and and again keep in mind i just i just barely said this prayer you know like and i i put this on my son's life like there's no reason for me to lie this is the truth i said this prayer and i come and there's a skype message and you know all this stuff so i give this guy within like a matter of 15 minutes i give him a listing and he's mm. like okay how much how much for a hundred mm. i'm like a hundred like a mm-hmm. hundred <laughs> yeah 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 was like, was, all I from the like same eight. city or yeah yeah i was like i, I could do like uh eight grand you know mm. And uh, I'm thinking he's just bullshitting me, dude, like just some mm-hmm. guy. Well, he asked for my number. He calls me in a matter of like another 10 more minutes. I had, you know, he put down a 50, like a 50% down payment. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. I bust through these hundred listings, right? I'm like, all right, cool. I bust through them. And then I get, a, you know, another set of a hundred listings and another set. And so I'm in it with like 300 listings, no matter of like two weeks, right? All my money problems are gone. Um, I was in a, I was in a position in my life where I had felt like I had, you know, really sacrificed and really did what I was supposed to in order to, uh, in order to like, man, I want the, the rewards of my labor. Like, where's the fruit? You know, I've been working all this time. I haven't done anything bad, you know, and, and I come from a family that uh, has always struggled with drugs and, mm. and all these things. Mm. And, and so it was one of those things that it was so easy to join them if, you know, and, but I just, I had this overwhelming feeling to keep fighting. And so within a matter of a couple of weeks, you know, that was a really special moment for me though. The, I said a prayer and like within like 20, 30 minutes, all in all, like I had the money, you know, and, and so I was running with this guy and I asked, I see how many calls these listings are generating, you know, and Ooh. I'm still like a dumb kid, you know, I think I'm like 21 or something. And, and so I see, and I ask him, I'm like, you know, and I start to do some more research into this dish network stuff and be like, okay, so he's making like a pretty healthy amount of money, you know, off of these calls. So, you know, I'm like, Hey, like, let me get like, you don't have to pay me money anymore. Let me just take like 20, 25%. And I'll just do listings all day long. You don't have to pay me anymore. Just give me the commission. You know, like I've figured it out what kind of like what you're doing and stuff. Like, you know, let me, let me, let me, like, do you want to do business basically? Well, the guy was actually taken back on it and was like offended, you know, mm. that I even asked. He was like, ah, oh, I'll fucking, you know, I have other people that uh, will do it for $50. Like your mm. shit sucks. Blah, blah. Mm. And I was like, no, dude, mine, like my stuff's ranking, you know, mm. like your three pack on, you know, like all these cities. So, you know, I was doing work with this guy, uh, another individual. And uh, at the time, you know, I'd been in trouble and stuff like from previous. And so I was worried that I wouldn't get approved as an authorized uh, Dish Network retailer. Hmm. And so basically, uh, I decided to partner up with this guy and and we get approved uh, through another company actually was based out of Utah, ironically. And so, you know, right out the door, I had all these, like I had a, I was building up listings. So it took a little bit to get verified, but the moment that we got verified and they gave us our lines, it was like an immediate, I just directed everything over to them. And so we were making really good passive income. My ego completely changed. You know, I was like, ah, dude, I'm going to be a billionaire. You know, like (laughs) I thought by the time I was 25, I was going to, you know, I'm serious. I went to the, I'd never really spent a lot of time in the casino, but I was making really good money for a while, like fast money. And I Mm -hmm. wasn't having to do anything. You know, I didn't yeah. have to pick up a call, nothing. It was just all taken care of passive. And so again, you know, here I am in the casino, some nights dropping a thousand, fifteen hundred. You know, just I suck at gambling. You know? <laughs> so, but uh so, so that's kind of like the gist though, is where I got started yeah. on this this uh these uh Google My Business verifications and stuff. And then I I was still doing like uh still a little bit of client work and stuff, but how you different know, I mean, is it now? Um the the Google verification, like is that the Google My Business profile? Is that yeah. the same yeah, thing? Yeah. yeah. So the Google My Business verification is like way different now. You used to be able to do yeah. all kinds of stuff. There's still people that can do fake listings. I'm not doing it right now. I have a, I have a team that I work with that I just pay and they take care of it, you know. Um, and I, I also have my own, I guess I am doing it. I have my own method, but it's not really a method. I'm verifying upon Google's terms of service. And so uh my approach is uh you know i'll go out and sign these these <laughs> maybe i'm oversharing but everybody knows but i'll go out and actually physically sign a storefront a brick and mortar and mm. i'll make sure the business mm. has its llc i'll make sure mm. we have insurance we're 100 a legitimate uh legitimate company mm. and i've taken this approach because there's been so many times in my career that i get up to you know having 20 30 businesses 100 businesses whatever it is all legion businesses mm. you know operating under a like a corporation but mm. Um, 
they would fall off Google Maps and I wouldn't be able to get them back, you know? And mm -hmm. so it's like, I make the initial investment now to uh, ensure, you know, that in the future, this is a long-term investment. As we open these stores, we don't expect to see any ROI for the first six to nine months. But um, in, in the business world, if you're receiving ROI in six to nine months and you have this formula that you go, hey man, this is a guaranteed thing. In six to nine months, you're going to be making more than, uh, you know, what it is. And a lot of these guys are super familiar. People are familiar and, and more trustworthy you know, to, to spend money on, on Google AdWords. And so it's really easy to spend five, six hundred, seven hundred dollars a month on Google AdWords. And right now, uh, it, you know, people like me and other people that are signing these storefronts for, for Google, my business, the, in the United States, the, the actual storefront, um, economy, I think that, you know, we're going to see some interesting things. And so, you know, I think that, the the we have an impact on on the economy by signing these storefronts and and you know it's we're not you know it's just one of those approaches that is beneficial i think for all parties but but again i have a proven formula that after about six to nine months with a storefront it uh, starts to bring in residual income and if you're a guy that does you know lead generation or you have technicians yeah. or if you're in the service industry you understand mm -hmm. hey man i just need the calls i don't give a fuck how you get the calls you yeah. know just make the phone mm -hmm. ring any person that's in marketing i think has heard those magic words just make the phone ring you know yeah. and so um my approach i like I said I, I took a more safe approach and a more legitimate approach just because i kind of stepped out of the whole black hat world and, mm -hmm. and operating on the gray area and stuff mm -hmm. and so if google if you see this I, i'm good bro <laughs> don't take my shit down like we're friends now you know but 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 no that's the, that's the truth i think i think uh i excelled really well in in search engine optimization and in the online world just because i have a creative mind obviously i'm cannabis yeah. friendly yeah. i still deal in the cannabis industry legally you know and and so um it was just one of those things that i was able i think i made i also adhd you know and so being able to to do marketing and shit you know having yeah. the 100 tabs open on my computer yeah is always multitasking yeah <laughs> Enough and, about me, man. Let's hear you. I want to. I want to hear. I want to I mean, hear what happened, dude. Like oh, uh, after after we worked together, like um, I, I remember when when we ended our uh, um working relationship because I wanted to start, you know, becoming a full time freelancer, you know, because I was working for you full time, right? Remember that. And no, I remember. I remember we used to have these deep conversations, and and we had a team of like five or six people yeah, or something. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Yeah. And and I've been, I've you know built websites for you, um, mostly for locksmiths and uh, um, air conditioning, HVACs, and uh, um, the 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 uh, garage doors. I remember those painting, paint paint yep. painters, right. So I yep, I remember yep. you 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 were uh building all these websites and ranking them on Google for um local keywords, right? You know, and and yep. and you you were selling the websites once it gets leads. You were selling it to people who offer the the the. Are you still doing that now? Um, no, no, no. no. No, yeah. now, now I'm like, I'm spoiled, you know, I I have a good portfolio and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so now I, I have a couple of uh, some, some real good business partners that, you know, have done phenomenal in business and stuff. And so there's a couple of industries that they keep me super busy. You know, mm -hmm. my company out here in Utah, we did a, uh, I technically signed an NDA, so I can't, I mm -hmm. can't physically say mm -hmm. We, we did a superstars home out in Utah, you know, and, and mm -hmm. so we had some really cool contracts, some, some, some big jobs. Mm -hmm. um, so all, you know, all of those so, are for, for uh, construction. Essentially. Air, so air duct cleaning, locksmith, ah, okay. you know, still the same kind of still the same. same. Stuff. So, but you're not so the now, partner. Like you, you're a partner and you do the marketing for them. Yeah. Yeah. So Utah, I'm the majority owner. Utah, I'm the majority owner of, of mm -hmm. all operations. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm pretty good with my hands. And so I, I'm, you know, certified with NADCA in, in air duct cleaning and uh, CSIA certified for uh, the chimney. Um, later this year, there's a couple of different uh, requirements in Utah that, you know, with a with the contractor's license to do some of these different jobs, but uh, currently doing some work for, uh, we have some really good contracts, you know, and so that's kept me busy with that, uh, just managing my guys. That's one thing that I think I spend more time than I want to managing mm -hmm. the dispatch and, mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that. But, uh, mm -hmm. for the most part, no, man, it's the same, same business approach, except for, I think I know what I'm doing now, mm -hmm. you know, with mm -hmm. the experience behind my belt and, 
I came in, I learned from a couple of different people, you know, how mm. to do these industries because I've mm. been doing marketing for them for so long. And when you, mm. when you hand write out the content and shit like that, it just came so natural to me, you know, like, mm. and so I was able to come in and, and learn air duct cleaning fast and chimney and locksmith. And just because we've been doing it for so long now here in Utah, we've managed to, uh, um, kind Dominate. of incorporate our stuff yeah 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 we we do like majority of all foreign cars uh we do uh yeah we do we do everything my my air duct cleaning company i've spent a lot of time and money and resources to make sure that we provide a good service you know mm -hmm. like out here in utah it really isn't uh really hard you know just just be just being honest like the bar is set it sounds cocky of me dude but the bar is set low mm -hmm. as far as in the world of the service industry out here and in mm -hmm. marketing and mm -hmm. and in a lot of places you know it's 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 relatively pretty easy easy to, to, you know, just provide a good service and be honest with your prices. And uh, we've managed to be successful. Are you still hiring Filipinos now or have you stopped so, that for the moment? So shout out to been, my, uh, right? shout out to my brother, Joel, you know, yeah, obviously Joel. I've done work for, <laughs> I've done, I've done work with Joel for a long time. We had yeah. a team running for a while. We had an office. I'm sure you were there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so as of right now, no, not really. I have mm. a couple of contacts. Um, my father had actually passed away May 7th. So I took a yeah, little bit sorry. of time, you yeah. know, just yeah. to, uh, you know, spend with him and, mm. And, you know, obviously all the feelings that come when, when, uh, when your father passes and stuff as mm. a man, I think it's an interesting, you know, it's a, it's a whole thing. Especially if you're close. Yeah. Yeah. I was able to get, I was able to get close with him again. We were really close when I was, you know, younger and then, yeah. you know, some stuff and, but I was able to get close with him, uh, towards the end and yeah, cancer's, uh, cancer sucks, you know, but as, as for, as for coming back to the Philippines, as of right now, I'm not doing anything mm. a little bit later on in the summer, mm. I will. I still sent Joel a little bit of work and mm. a couple other people a little bit of work here and there. Mm. Uh, but right now we just, we built like now, dude, I have so many websites, you know, like I run into people, I'll go out to Texas or wherever, run into somebody and, and, you know, ironically, I'll have a domain that's similar to their, you know, so it's really easy to just be like, Hey man, I already have this website. Mm. Like if you want to start doing something, you know, you, you handle all the dispatch, you handle all the technicians, I send you the jobs and you send me the money, you know? Mm. And so, so I have all these websites that are sitting up because I had, you know, Philippines and 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 people overseas working for me for so many mm. years. And so yeah. I have, yeah, I have thousands of domains. Mm. That's good. That's good. That's nice. That's great, man. It's good to hear. So how how are you uh um how's everything with your uh with your kid? How's Wyatt? You good? Why it's good. Why it's good. You remembered his name. Yeah. Why it's uh nice. he's 10. Like I said, his mom just had a baby. Mm -hmm. uh there for How a while old is he now he's he's 10 years old oh that fast <laughs> yeah yeah i yeah, remember when he was still, still like around four yeah four? yeah three i think three? i think two yeah. or three yeah because yeah, yeah. there was a while that he was with me for you know every day while i was mm -hmm. doing the whole the whole internet marketing thing and getting started mm -hmm. and stuff and mm -hmm. but yeah he's 10 he, he loves uh he loves video games call of duty is like his shit he's fuck he's way better than most people you know? <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's, he's good. He loves his video games though, for sure. And he's super stoked. He's actually gets to hold his little brother, like probably mm. right now, you know? And so, uh, his mom, Lindsay did fantastic and stuff. And so they're super stoked to, to welcome good. a new, good. Uh, new brother of the That's family. Good. Circling back to, uh, back when you were still hiring, um, Filipinos, you know, to work for you with digital marketing and all, um, how was that? Like, like when, when you really, when you really uh invested uh in people and what 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 kind of uh characteristics were you looking for when you were hiring you know um what kind of uh, uh skills were were needed you know especially with the type of work that you were doing for your you know companies and yeah you know so obviously we started on online jobs that's where that's where i yeah, found the og online jobs ironically had an office in in utah um mm. So I got started because I had mentioned previously or earlier, you know, about the the Indian company that had approached mm. me. And, and so I was like, man, I could do this. Like, and mm. so I started doing research and somehow I found online jobs and, mm. um, uh, <laughs> sorry, got it spaced out. <laughs> so, so with online jobs, you know, we, we were doing that approach. I guess what I, it, it really humbled me. It really humbled me, you know, cause I'm, I, I hadn't really traveled a lot yet and I hadn't really experienced the world. And so it was a really, uh, it was a really different feeling to be able to like 
help, you know, because here I was like, I wasn't making crazy amount of money, but I had a couple of Filipinos that were, were working for me and, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, we're, I would like to say happy, you know, and, and, uh, I got to, I got to train people. And as far as what I was looking for, I was looking for somebody that I could hop on a phone. As you know, we had so many, you know, so many phone calls and stuff, but I was looking for somebody that I could just communicate with. Yeah. And also they could teach me things, you know, mm -hmm. because you guys are live a whole different world. I think the Philippines has come a long way in the past 10 years, but you guys live a whole different lifestyle than the people yeah. in the United States and many other countries. And so, it was really humbling. You know, I, I would see, uh, it, you know, just uh, sending $50, $50 mm -hmm. would, you know, the, it was, they were people in the Philippines were so much more grateful than if I was to give a homeless guy on the street, you know, mm -hmm. same amount of money. Mm -hmm. And so, so that really changed my perspective on everything. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, how I got started is I was just trying to mimic what the, the Indian people were doing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to get leads and stuff because it was really profitable. And so that's kind of how I was getting my sales. And that took me in a lot of different directions. But uh, the Philippines in itself is like, uh, in my opinion, is a beautiful, beautiful place. A lot of humble people. There's still uh, religion is still very heavily in, yeah. in, in the culture and stuff. And so yeah. the Philippines reminds me of what I imagined the United States was in like the 70s, 80s, 90s. Yeah. You know, like yeah. because everything of the, except yeah. for the technology that we have you know basically the same with you guys we have cell phones we have internet but it's a little bit lagging you know a little bit behind especially with I digital think, marketing you know you got to get elon musk's shit out there i seen you posting about it yeah star starlink uh yeah. i'm not really sure how does that work like if if, Dude, it's if amazing. it gets so, really cloudy and rainy here no it works know? it still works so still so works. i have it for camping i have mm. it for camping and so I, uh, I'll go up on the mountain middle of middle of nowhere. Right. Mm. And I have a pretty nice camp trailer, but I'll go and I just put my antenna on mm. the, on the camp trailer. It's like a little mm. satellite. And then mm. you take your phone and you mm. go like this. And it's mm. like, almost like you're playing Pac-Man. It eats all the little fucking, uh, the little bubbles. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, your, your satellite will work and mm. like, it'll adjust with the satellite and stuff. As long as there's not really too many trees, but you would be surprised like, cause I'm in some like crazy areas in the mountains, you know? And, and mm. so it still works. I'm up in the mountains. Like I'll go, I still hunt every year, you know? And so mm. I'm, I'm the hunter that goes out and, you know, breaks the satellite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rappels down some cliffs in the morning and then comes back and enjoys playing some Fortnite at 120 megs, you know? And so <laughs> it's uh Elon Musk internet for sure. Highly recommend dude. It's the shit. Mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's some yeah, I, might, I might get one. Huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm probably going to get one. Cause I have, I also have a place in the mountains here in near our uh, city, probably around two hours away and there's no neighbor for miles. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. As so long as probably, you don't have big trees, then yeah. you're good. It is probably more reliable than the stuff at home. You know, mm -hmm. like uh, Elon Musk is is. I still think he's kind of got some crazy ideas, but Elon yeah. Musk is uh, he's changing shit up for sure, man. Yeah, yeah. So how's how's I thought, AI um AI affected your business, dude? AI what what do you think shit. about it? AI is the shit. Hands <laughs> down, hands down. AI fucks the game up, dude. Mm -hmm. Like. It, we have been able to expedite production on websites, content in a higher quality exactly. by like 20 fold, you know, if not goodbye, more. Goodbye, Lauren Ipsum. Yeah, yeah, goodbye, <laughs> Lauren Ipsum. Yeah, yeah, now in the field, uh, so many clients, so many clients, why is there Spanish on my website? It's like, God damn it, dude. If AI would have existed back when I had my team in full force, man, mm. I mm. would, uh, maybe I'd be a billionaire. Mm. <laughs> you know, probably would have lost in the casino, but... <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, tell me so tell me the, the the weed in philippines you know like what uh oh yeah um well um right now it's still illegal they say medical medical cannabis is all, all is already in the laws uh in our uh constitution but okay. it's really hard to get a license for it like you gotta go inside a needle uh you know needle the the eye of the needle like right. and you have to pay for you know a, a lot just to get the oils so people here especially the people who are sick you know with cancer with with all the things that cannabis can help you with uh you know it's really hard for them to to get uh the the proper medicine uh right. yeah but but 
we have a few senators and congressmen who are already trying to push to legalize medical cannabis. And I'm hopeful, maybe, you know, within five years, you know, uh, it's still going to get you in trouble, really in trouble, yeah. you know, uh, even that's for crazy. just a little bowl, you know. Yeah, that's <laughs> but, how that's how it was here. Like, uh, they treated uh, weed as the same as like, dude, I remember when I was a kid getting in trouble and it's like they would make you go to these drug and alcohol classes. And it's like, you know, you look, you got like people who obviously have like a drinking problem or drinking to numb the pain, you know, so maybe they should be here. And then you have like heroin addicts and meth addicts. And then mm -hmm. it's like, you know, I get up and talk and I'm like, yeah, dude, they caught me. I had like $20 worth of weed. So <laughs> now I have to, you know, you fucking get me, you know, you guys will go our system you know but uh, <laughs> fortunately enough i think there was enough failure in our, our judicial system that uh certain laws were able to change i got to see firsthand you know with the the, the boom and the, the cannabis boom with colorado and stuff like I said i still work with uh with the company out there very close with the with the owner out there and so um see all the the pros and i've even seen the cons you know for sure there are some uh, it depends on who you are as an individual. Um, I definitely think that uh, when you smoke weed, you're def you're you're a lot less motivated, you know for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, but it depends too. Like for me, my creative energy is a lot higher when I'm smoking. Can or at least the I same. feel like it is. You know, at least the I same. I feel like it is, but it probably isn't. I don't know. But it is. It is. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure it is, man. We all it's have more... to be honest at some point, yeah. you know. And so... It's it's more for uh 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 should I say thinking people. Like yeah. for me, you know, although there are some people who like, you know, Nate Diaz and Nick Diaz, they all smoke weed, but they fight in the UFC. They do marathons, you know, triathlons right. even. So it really I'm depends not gonna lie. on you. I still yeah. catch my breath when I fucking go up the stairs, you know. <laughs> so I ain't eating Nate Diaz in this it's, dish, a, it's actually really good, man. Like, like yeah. I've, I've done it. I, we, I've been playing ta table tennis for... I don't know three, two, two to three years now. Okay. And, you know, most of the time, <laughs> you know, yeah, most of the time we we do a little, you know, but yeah, good. Not really. Uh, good. The police might be listening, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. You get fucking, you know. That's how it used to be in Utah, dude. Like I mm. swear, like if you, oh my god, if if you were growing a plant, mm. holy shit, you're going to prison. Fifteen years for a plant. For one, one plant, dude, it grows from a seed. And yeah. then these motherfuckers, they turn around and they sell alcohol mm, and they push all mm, this shit. Yeah. It's it's a joke, dude. But at least the United States, I think we're coming to a point where they can see the 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 benefits on, on the economy because of the taxes, you know. And mm, so mm. anytime money gets involved, I think even Utah, with like when they legalize mm. Utah, we're a, we're a Mormon state, you know, majority uh, white population, uh, majority Mormon, you know, especially in Utah County. Mm. And so it was like, dude, I remember getting in trouble with the police and they'd be, they'd tell me Utah will never go legal. It'll be like the last day, blah, 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 blah. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, unfortunately it looks like the Mormons maybe care about money more than we thought, you know, I don't know, <laughs> no, no diss to the Mormons. I think they're great people. I find yeah. myself defending them all the time. All churches but... do. Like, yeah, all yeah. Do, money, money, no look, exemptions. You can fix people's lives with, with money. You know, let's be honest. Yeah. You can fix yeah. people's lives yeah. with, you, with money. And the church people hey, to school, in Utah yeah. is a really good place. You know, I'll say this since I kind of took a jab at the Mormons, I'm going to, I'm going to save it really fast. The church is an amazing place. I grew up really poor. My family was really poor. Uh, I remember anytime my mom was struggling, I can't tell you how many times the church paid for our electricity. And and again, we didn't go to church. My mom wasn't, uh, my mom has an active addiction at times, you know? And so uh, I remember the church would, had, had reached out and given us food, um, you know, so many times paid for rent, paid for all this stuff in our community. I will say this about the Mormons, that if you are struggling and you go to church, they're going to help you regardless of the person yep. you are, yeah. regardless of what they believe in. I think that's a very good trait, you know, yeah. um, regardless of whatever, whatever their beliefs are. You know, I, I know bits and pieces because I was raised here, but they are they are really good people. You know, it's just I, I think that there's a lot of stigmatism, especially with the whole multiple wives. I know I had to, you know, I had to divorce my three wives. And so I still I still keep mm -hmm. the other two because they're mm -hmm. good. But, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just kidding. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I was about to ask you good three wives. <laughs> I used to have five. No. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but no, it was a joke when, when I'd go out and do uh, as a locksmith technician, because I wanted a break from the computer. Mm. I used to go out and people would ask, you know, where I'm from and stuff. And I'd tell them Utah. And I'd be like, that's why I'm charging you $149 to unlock your car. I have five wives back home. Do you know what it's like <laughs> to feed five women? Every every beginning at the end of the month, dude, I'm fucking bankrupt, bro. Do you need a spare key? And so I try to make it like a fun game, you know. Mm. It's for me, sales is my uh I, I enjoy sales. You you when you yeah. make a big sell, it sound when you go out and you've been a freelancer now, I can mm. tell you you remember, I guarantee you, you remember your first sell where you sold something for a couple hundred dollars and you're like, mm. Man, I used to work for that piece of shit Skylar for fucking 40 hours for this. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and so, but I it sells is like an incredible thing, you know. And yeah, if you, if you know is. the art of sell and, and yeah. you understand, you know, sales, you're, you're going to, you're mm. going to do well, but mm. unfortunately, but, dude, mm. I, uh, I got to kind of get going. I got to sure, like, sure, sure, sure. let's do it again way. sometime. You know, yeah, yeah. It was we got to do it when you. you're, we got to do it when you're smoking too. I want to get in some deep thought with fuck. We oh, can, we can talk about get me in trouble. <laughs> yeah, well, you, I want to. I want to know what the UFO thing is. Everybody, fucking tune in next <laughs> next week. We're gonna get to the bottom of the UFOs in the United States. Apparently, UFOs and aliens are fucking real. I'm yeah, mind blown. Yeah. But uh, yeah, apparently, you know. So we 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 can we real quick though. Have you seen any UFOs in the Philippines? Is this this bullshit in the United well, States? Well, um, I would say I've I probably have captured one with uh with the camera oh when oh, I, I was like in you an fucking island. captured one dude you got just him on the a leash light, or just some a light, shit dude just a light man a light yeah, in the, e. it was in it was there it was there but uh, when i took the uh, i took a multi shot you know so yeah. the light was there for probably around two frames and then yeah. f- when the on the third frame it's gone and you, you can see pretty clearly in the sky that there's a circle of light but I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just a camera, you know, it's just a lens flare, but you know. Look, dude, out out here, the United States people, it's like TikTok, which is probably the Chinese, who knows? Uh, hopefully they win. You know, we fucked shit up anyway. But <laughs> out here in the United States, dude, everybody's going crazy about UFOs. To me, it's baffling because I'm in marketing. I'm like, dude, clearly, mm. what about Joe Biden? What about his hunter? What about the cocaine they found in the White House on July mm. 4th? You know, mm. like mm. there's so many other things that here in the States we could be discussing. And uh, it's so funny to me that it's like what we pick to uh, to yeah. put on the on It's the like news. a smoke screen, right? Yeah, yeah. Soon, it. dude, you're gonna see. I'm telling you, bro, we're gonna have pet aliens. Like, we're gonna start capturing them, like you did. It sounds like, fucking, you know. I don't know, but it, you know, the universe is too big to to conclude that we're the only ones there. No, it's know. the truth, dude. Right. I'm I'm more. I feel better knowing there's aliens. Like yeah. me personally, I'm like, oh, dude, right. maybe there is something yeah. when you die. You know, maybe yeah. there there's fucking aliens. You mm. know, like. Mm. But anyway, bro. It's Anyways, fun. man, we gotta do it again. Thanks, bro. Thanks, See buddy. you soon. Later. We'll see you.